The Hada 2 tool is now running for like 24 hours and it is on 51%. So this tool is way too slow and it is checking every single sector. So I think I'm gonna abort this test and see what other tools I can use to try out hard drives. Because I have six of them and if I'm gonna test this on this method that will take two weeks. That's way too long. Welcome to Ray Draw Machines, my name is Victor Bart. And in this video we're gonna install 6 8TB SAS Seagate hard drives into the chassis and test them out. If I can find a tool that is fast enough, I hope. And let's put in two boot hard drives to test out the system and later I will replace them with SSDs. So let's abort this test. Let's see if the tool that I normally use for the retro drives also works for the SAS drives. Normally I use the C tools for DOS 1.12 uh, for my retro drives. That is a really good tool. But le let's try C tools uh, 2.23. No controllers detected. No hard drives found. <laughs> Oops. It doesn't work. Okay, I have another plan. I have this two 250 gigabyte uh, laptop hard drives. I just pulled them out, so I'm not sure if they are working. Let's. Put them in the system in a RAID 1, install a Proxmox on it and just run some diagnostic stuff out of Proxmox which is a Debian based OS. I think that will be much better than this way and then I can access all the drives and read out uh, the smart data. What I really like about this case is that on top of the power supply there is a hard drive case for 2.5 inch drives. So let's take that out. So this is a perfect solution for your boot drives like two hard drives or two SSDs. So let's put back the hard drive package. And let's put in the power cables. And of course the two SATA cables to the onboard SATA controller from the chipset. Okay, the hard drives are detected. Oh lol, it found a Windows installation on one of the laptop hard drives. Let's see what we have. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we have Windows Vista Home Basic running on my server. Oh my god, this is this is getting uh, out of hand. This is really terrible. What have I done? Oh, we have a speed test. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. PC performer. <laughs> it was probably a really shitty laptop. <laughs> and now it's a really fast server. So let's go to task manager. Okay, the 12 CPUs are detected <laughs> and the memory is 2 gigabytes <laughs> of the 128 gigabytes. <laughs> ah, wow, this is uh, fun. A lot of uh, Xeons here because we have 24 threads in this machine. This uh, Windows is really shitty with way too much stuff on it. Go away, go away. Vista. Away, away. Okay, let's install Procmox from a USB stick in a mirror on the two laptop hard drives. Okay, Procmox detects all the hard drives, so that's correct. So let's go to options. And we're gonna make a set of as RAID 1. And do not use the 8 terabyte. Do not use the USB stick. So we have the two 250 gigabyte Toshiba drives. Okay, the 10 gigabit network uh, connection is working. So let's call this uh, test server. So I have six 8 terabyte CK SAS drives from Dell servers. So let's remove them from the Dell trays and put them in the trays from uh, my server. And this drive is already done. Fox 
Xbox is installed, so let's log in. <laughs> Lol. 24 threads. We have the SDA, that is the 8 terabyte hard drive, the SDB and the SDC are the two uh, drives in the mirror. So let's install the rest of the hard drive. I'm gonna connect the second sus back plane and the controller that I'm using is the IBM M1015. It's an HBA so it's running in IT modus. So ZFS has direct connection to the drives. And also we need to power the second backplane. So let's dig out the cables. Because we have uh, a lot of Molex cables here that need to be connected to the backplane. I don't want to have overheating hard drives so I gonna drop in the Noctua coolers in the slots and later I gonna do a full video about the cooling of the server and how I have planned it. But hard drives in my opinion really need cooling. So let's drop the fans in. Here we have 48 terabyte of storage. Every drive is 8 uh, terabyte, 7200 RPM. They are Seagate Enterprise drives. So let's install the drives in the chassis. So it's time to boot up the server and see if all the hard drives will be detected. Okay, the hard drives are spinning up. So let's see if they all are detected. A lot of hard drive noises. And we have six detected hard drives. Nice. Okay, let's see. We have SDA 8TB, SDB 8TB, SDC 8TB, SDD 8TB, SDE 8TB and an SDF 8TB. So all the 6 drives are detected. So let's check the smart status of the drive that I ran now for around one day. And as you can see it's a CK, 7200 RPM. It's now 37 degrees. Uh, number of hours powered up is 26.25 uh, zero errors and if we go to the B so the new hard drive that I just put in the number of hours powered up is 38 minutes so the drives are brand new the drives are working without any errors so that's great but before I continue with building the RAID set I'm waiting on the SSD. I got a sponsor for that which is really great. I don't gonna tell you yet uh, which sponsor it is but probably the next video will be with the SSDs. I got something new in the studio. A whiteboard. So please... Subscribe and like. Today I picked up this 19 inch 12U chassis for 10 euros. <laughs> That's an amazing price and it's like brand new. So I put in my 12 disc Dell uh, storage array. It has 12 18 gigabyte SCSI hard drives. This is my test server and it's also a uh, 5U unit. So it also fits in here. And here will be my network switch and my uh, power distribution block with a protector will be in the back of it and I'm gonna do another server build and this is like the opposite of my dual CPU uh, system with 12 cores this is an Atom uh, 1 core CPU with hyper threading and it came with 1 gigabyte of memory and I had one 2 gigabyte stick lying around from an old laptop and today in a pawn shop I bought another 2 gigabyte for 2 euro 50 and I paid for this motherboard with a power supply 15 euros. So that is a really great deal. And this will be my PFSense server and I bought a 1U chassis for it. So I'm gonna do a really cheap 1U router build uh, with this little machine. So my plan is that I can do a router in a VM here uh, with PFSense. 
but then this is like the backup machine when this is uh, offline or in maintenance that I still have internet or maybe this will be just a router box I'm not sure yet but we have some uh, possibilities and for 15 euros this motherboard is really great with a PCIe slot and uh, also network and VGA and everything on board what you need for SATA ports so yeah more builds will come thanks for watching and if you like to support me i have patreon i have amazon affiliated links i have twitter and you can join retro machines on facebook